Okay, good morning. How to manipulate your environment <laughs> to suit your needs. Or in other words, to make becoming a healthier person easier for you. I'm not even gonna edit this video. That's what we're doing. What we're gonna be talking about is, what are we talking about? We're talking about reducing non-beneficial stimulus and increasing beneficial stimulus. That's my Pomodoro timer. You should use those if you study. We're also talking about increasing beneficial stimulus, building systems and building social contracts. First of all, we need to reduce contact with people that are dragging us down. If you've got friends, that, like if you've been trying to maybe, I don't know, stop, I don't, genuinely, maybe your friend group you've drank a lot, you drank a lot, you vaped a lot, smoked a lot, and you're trying to sort of like do less, you know, not vape and smoke and drink as much, or do as much many drugs. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're gonna, especially in Australia, we have a bit of a culture for saying, no, 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 like, what are you doing, mate? What are you, you trying to, like, when people are trying to improve in some way, it's like, what are you doing, mate? Like, come here, what did you do? Some bullshit to, we drag each other down. And so that can happen, and we don't want that to happen. <clears throat> don't know why I've got voice cracks today. I never get them. Oh, but um, yeah. So you've got to understand that if you're gonna start trying to change your character and actually like uh, evolve as a human in some way, you 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 know maybe there's funny jokes your friends make, but they're actually just racist and or sexist and you stop like giving into them or yeah maybe i don't know you stop um i guess change being fake or changing yourself when social interactions get awkward or something like you're not confident in your own skin you yeah you need to reduce that and all that and if your friends try and tell you that what you're doing isn't like they have a problem with it, then you need to reduce contact with them. And something similar to this is the news. And I mean media news as well. Like there's Snapchat news stories and there's Instagram news stories and other things. Snapchat's a big one now though. Where it's like, hey, this is happening. This is, this is really important in the world for you to know. And it's usually not important in any way shape or form i use snapchat you know every now and again and you got all these news stories and stuff and i i've stopped clicking on any news sources because usually it doesn't change my actions and it just distracts me from whatever my goal is at the time which is just simply not preferable so yeah watch less news and don't let your friends drag you down. Absorb yourself for what's important to you. Maybe we'll do we even do separation in between. Ah! Yeah, absorb absorb yourself in like the world of what you're inter interested in. What I mean by that is that if you are interested in like psychology or in engineering, maybe, and yeah, you find fucking you find a local club nearby. Like at the at the university nearby, even if you don't even if you don't go there yet, of people that talk about engineering and stuff, and then you go there, um, you take a course in your city or suburb regarding engineering, um, or you kind of like manipulate your media feed so that everything is like related to fucking like building shit or maths and engineering stuff. Um, so make it so that literally, like, everything that exists within your reality is what you're trying to work towards. Because believe it or not, which you, uh, that's a stupid statement, like, it's actually quite an obvious point. You, it's, then you'll move a lot quicker because all you're fucking absorbing is just what you're, you're trying to do. It's pretty good. So, for me... It was a lot about 
how the mind worked, I guess. Every, I remember, yeah. I, well, I unfollowed a bunch of unrelevant pages on Instagram and whatnot. I think I ended up just deleting it. And then, yeah, I made, I kind of made sure my YouTube feed was mostly just psychology stuff. And I started talking to people more about psychology stuff. And I started making my number one priority throughout the day to like reflect on what people did, even if they weren't interacting with me. I'd look at their actions associated with the words that they were saying and the tone that they were saying them and make conclusions. And everything I was like, okay, cool, human psychology. So that was that. Um, yeah. What is going on? This is my positioning. <coughs> Also, this is day six of become a new person in 30 days. It's literally just a 30 day challenge. It's actually the lead generation. So join the Peaky Points email community if you want to be here with this entire 30 day challenge. We're covering a bunch of shit. These first few are actually quite simple. We're going to get it more complex. So second link in the description. Fantastic. So next, build systems to minimize required discipline. I just spoke about this yesterday in day five where discipline is misunderstood. And that, yeah, someone commented and we talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I said discipline was a lie. It's not necessarily a lie. It's, a, it's misunderstood because people are like, hey, how do I discipline myself? And it's like, okay, well, you're literally making everything hard for yourself because you have nothing in place to ease the blow of like new positive habits you're trying to build. It's like, you're like, you go from being a nobody who does nothing to like, bro, this habit and gym five times a week or something. I don't even go to the gym. I do yoga. Yoga is fucking so hard. It's great. You should do it. So it's for so many different reasons. You should do it. Um, breathe and flow on YouTube. Search them up. Yeah, you should build systems. Like I have systems and I follow them in a very literally extremely specific ass way. So I don't need to use discipline. I just follow each small step. Yeah, it's like it's like you start small. But then you do, yeah, that's another tip. It's like, oh, you should start small and don't expect yourself to do the whole task. Well, technically, this is just a variation of that because you break things down, but only a little bit, but you put other habits with it and um, it's like a habit stack. Have you ever read Atomic Habits? It's actually, it's, it's really fucking good. So, yeah. Um, build systems, make life easy for yourself. Yeah, make a social contract, contract with friends or family. So essentially, you can, uh, if you, you can find it in a Google Doc and you could go like, okay, this is what I'm trying to do. These are rewards for certain things. This is punishment for certain things. These are the, you know, if I do this, you do that, exceptions or no exceptions. And you print them out with a couple of good friends or and family members or something. And it's a social contract that they help you follow. Maybe there's maybe there's even you make one for them as well, and you're both your accountability partners. And that's where something else comes in. I think this is actually a bonus point. I've just realised bonus point. Accountability and accountability partners to actually control your environment. So, I mean, you've heard it before. Like it's like life is as you take it. You know, life. If you perceive things as like events, situations as being positive then they'll benefit you in some way, shape or form. So, yeah, you should be accountable as a person. Um, you know, yeah, say, so, cool, this happened. What do I do about it? That sucks. Okay. What do I do about it? This was great. Cool. Can I learn from it? Can we do it again? Do that. And that brings me on to the last point, accountability partners. Accountability partners. You should have people around you that, like, like the, you know, the complete antithesis of having people drag you down is having people lift you up. So if you want, um, I don't like, I don't know what you want. I don't know. You've clicked on this video, you like self-development or something. I don't know what you're trying to do. I have no clue. Maybe you're trying to, you know, you've, you've, you've had mental health issues. You've been like really anxious, really depressed. Maybe you have like bipolar disorder. 
eating disorder, um, was it, was a personality disorder? Like, I'm not, those are things that I've had a lot of people in comments and stuff on my channel talk about. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know, you're just ambitious in regards to, like, studies and career, but you haven't necessarily done that much and you're trying to go on this whole journey. Yeah, you should get accountability partners, people that have similar goals, and then you kind of just work through everything. And you, throw, you work through life together. Or in other words, you walk your peaky path with them. This is where the Peaky Pines email community comes in. Second link in the description. Basically, it's it's literally an email list where I send out some valuable stuff. And also, I'll notify you of each video in this 30-day challenge. But what's the whole point is that second email or something, you'll get a link to the Discord community. Where there, there, there was nobody. Now there's a fair few people, which I'm pretty happy with. So you can go in. People have some pretty crazy conversations. And I come back and I'm like, what the fuck? So people do accountability stuff in there and it'll just grow over time. So if that sounds cool, cool. Second link, videos been long enough. This is how to control your environment. If you want to, if you want to recap, recap, yeah. Recap, reduce non-beneficial stimulus, increase beneficial stimulus, build systems, build social contracts, absorb, absorb yourself in whatever you need to do. All of it, life, and make everything absorbed in it. Um, accountability, accountability partners. Have a good one. Brush your teeth.